They came to arrest him and they said, If I be a man of God, let fire fall from him. He, he was full of fire. He, he released fire to consume sacrifice. He released fire to consume those that wanted to attack him. And then he was translated and transported to glory in chariots of fire. We went by one wind, but the child of fire just came down because Elisha would have grabbed him and the God first of all released the fire. Today, all those demons and evil spirits that have called themselves to you, the fire will come away the same and spread them from your life in the name of Jesus. And when you receive the fire, as Elijah received the fire, if you have been doubting who you are, you will know that the Lord is God and tell all those that come to Allah and to torment your life. You will say, if I be a man of God, I don't mean physical human being, but powers in the air, man does see whether they be witches, they be wizards. And they will come in you sleep in hands. Every time you will be oppressed, and maybe someone will say, what is happening? What is happening? You say, yes, they came to oppress you. Today, oppression will cease in your life. Because you will carry fire. And when you are moving, you know, there are, I told my wife, I said, there's somebody, I don't want to be too specific now. The person no longer look at my face. Because I know that person is carrying no power. But when fire is released against your power, you begin to look down from today. Evil wants to be looking down. Yeah. And you'll be trampling them on your feet in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We need fire in our life. God promised that He will baptize us. Look at Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. He said, When He, the Holy Spirit, Jesus is come, He will baptize with the Holy Ghost and with fire. He don't turn in level. I did baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that is Jesus Christ has come and after me. It's mightier than I. You should. I am not worthy to hear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with what? With fire. Say to them. I give my life to you. 
then you have taken the first step. The second step is you must be separated from the world. When I say the world, I don't mean you now go and stay in one wilderness. No. The world, the evil practices, the evil habits, the evil ways of the world, they are at variance with the Holy Ghost. Jesus told us, look at John 14. John 14, 16 and 17. John 14, 16 and 17. And I will pray the Father, and He shall give you another comforter, that He may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. So you must forsake the evil practices, the dubious ways of the world, the deceit of the world, the corruption of the world, the all the rubbish that the people of the world do. You, you, you forsake them, you separate yourself from them. Then you make sure you are living a righteous life. And you are obedient to God. Because Acts chapter 5, verse 32, Acts 5, 32 says that this fire is given to those who obey God. And we are as witness of this thing. And so also is the Holy Ghost who God has given to them that, that, that obey me. You obey the voice of God, you obey the word of God. Then, you must desire to possess this fire. Jesus Christ said in Matthew 5, verse 6, Blessed that be that hunger and tax after righteousness they shall walk, they shall be filled. And in John 7, verse 37 to 39, I said, In that day, that very of the feet, Jesus too and cried, saying, If any man come, let him come unto me and drink. As the scripture has said, out of his bed he shall flow rivers of living water. But this said he of the Holy Spirit. Because at that time his disciples had not experienced this fire. So no desire and time in all this stuff and desire and test. You must pray. The apostles we receive we read about that received this fire Prayer preceded the experience in their life. Acts chapter 1, verse 14. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women, maybe the mother of Jesus, with his brethren. You must pray fervently to experience this power and fire. Jesus Christ said, You. I said the promise of my Father upon you. But tell me, you know, I pray in the city of Jerusalem until he be a Jew. You pray for that. Until he be a Jew. Now what to be a Jew means until you are clothed. Until it overshadow you with the power from on high. Then as you are praying, believe that. Today, if you have not been filled with this fire, you know, there are different levels of Holy Ghost experience. There, you know, when you set fire, the first thing that comes out is smoke. Then, the flame. The flame itself has degrees of intensity. You may have been baptized before, but your life, there's no flame, there's no fire. When you pray, you are dry, you are empty, you are cold, you see oppression, attack here and there. So 
it means the fire. I want the fire as thrust is as has been put out because of maybe spiritual business and what have you. Or the fire is not burning. When the fire is burning, who is that animal? Whether it's happening or bed or crocodile that will come near fire at the time. Fire will teach them the same. You need this fire upon your life. Why do you need this fire? When you have this fire and you speak to people like this, they have to be melted in their hearts of apostles. When they were preaching, the Bible said their hearts were pricked. And they said, Men and brethren, what shall we do? When you possess fire, your prayer life will move from zero to one to two to ten to raise. Power 10. You are praying and praying and praying. It's a prayer. You see, some people pray five minutes. They look like, oh, I've only prayed for five minutes. I told I pray for one hour. It's because there's no fire. When there is fire, and you go into the upper room of prayer, you are lost in prayer. And you are praying on one that before you feel that another one is coming, before you feel that another one is coming, before you know you box a tongue and you open the kingdom of darkness is shaking. And the sickness that we know, what if before we get to jump out, evil power that we're coming around, they get to take off. When the fire came upon the apostles, they were fearful before. They couldn't stand, Peter couldn't stand again. Jesus, I never knew him. But when they carry the fire, because God is residing in you, and if God be for all, who can be against all? They that be with all are more than they that be with them. When you carry this fire, you fear no fool. Whether they are all caught in powers, they are wishful powers, you fear not because he that dwelleth in you, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And when you carry fire, the word of the command arrest the Elisha. And the servant of Elisha said, Alas, Master, we perish. See what it will be more to arrest the Lord. Open his eyes that he may see. When his eyes were open, he saw that all six and shadows of fire were surrounding Elijah. Come near us. If one run at you, you will know that danger is coming. So, when you carry this fire, no weapon that is formed against you shall walk prosper. And every tongue that rises against you in judgment is condemned. Jesus Christ said, you will give you power over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. When the fire comes upon you, your spiritual eyes are open. Things don't happen to you Accidentally, before they happen, you did not know that when Joel was giving this promise, if you read Joel 2 28 29, he said, the Young men will see what vision. Old people will read the news. Even the servant, the young priest, he said, We pour out. You know, the light shall receive this power and fire, and then. The children of Israel were warring with the Syrian, and the Syrians went to lay ambush on a particular route that the children of the king of Israel were going to pass by. And then like that, you know, when you are this fire, they are trying, you are translocated, you are transported. The enemy will plan your all of this one, you don't see yourself in the abyss. You hear them discussing, planning evil. 
They don't see you, but you see them. When you have this fire, Elisha knew where they were. He told the king, don't pass that way. They are there. The king went and sent somebody to go and confirm. When they went there, they sat there as Elisha said. The exact spot, the thing was there. They were there. When they came, they did. If he said, okay, let's take another route. He's like, he's not taking this other route. Then Elisha said, they are there. At the point, the king said, he said, there's a spy in our midst. Who is revealing my plan to the king of Israel? The, 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 the servant said, there's nobody here. There's a prophet in Israel. He carried fire. He carried power. He carried the whole portion. The things you are even discussing in your best shape is here and there. You say that where the light is, it's the happening to me. By the grace of God, there are times of in the house, and then all of a sudden the angel will come to you. And you hear what? At times, the way they want, what they want to see in two months' time, the exact word, you just hear it in your eyes. You need this fire. When you have this fire upon you, your life is secure. No man can cut short your life because there's power. Everything about this life that makes somebody to say, I am somebody, is power. Either the person has financial power, economic power, has political power, has power in Christ. But if you say you are in Christ and you don't have power, then the devil will not be using you to play football. One disease come, power, they give to you. One attack come, power, they give to you. But when you have this fire upon you, they say, that the devil will say, don't go there. That place is not going there. If you go there, all they say is it. And then it is there to say, as I got there, I couldn't enter. The place said, there was fire all over the old place. Brethren, we need this fire. When the fire comes, there's explosion in the church. The fire protect, the fire Bring signs, wonders, miracles. What can we do as a church without this fire? What can you do as a believer without this fire? Pack away whatever fire you have. There is greater dimension of fire that is coming now. If I wear a new shoe now, I will rise up and say, God, I am a candidate for this fire. Today, I will not live here unless. I receive this fire and this power from